in 2003, started uh, our, our uh, road to organic certification at that time, as well as our road to uh, higher fertility for our soils. A um, little bit about me, uh, some, some things to understand. Uh, I came from uh, a business background. I had my own uh, internet business, started that in about 1994. You may have heard of it, the internet. Well, 94 was kind of a good timing to be in the internet business, and I sold that business in 2004. Did all right. Uh, believe you me, it's not the kind of Google or eBay kinds of things, but it was a nice little deal at the time, and uh, uh, it allowed us to, to get a head start uh, on, the, on the farming here. The, the first thing is, and, and, and across all of this, is soil. It all starts in the soil. And if you have animals, crops, anything, be paying attention to the soil and be building the soil. Well, I'm going to be darn surprised if there isn't. Oh, with the colder soil, they, they could be down a little, a little deeper. deeper. Yeah, there's definitely some holes though. And yeah. Furrows. And look at how deep the roots are. Mm. This is a fresh seeding. What is that grass? This is a pasture mix. A Midwestern Biowag pasture mix. What is that? Uh, peas in there? Or? Yeah, that's some oats and some peas. Farming should be fun. And I'm having a great time farming. And if, if you're not having fun farming, boy, you are not doing it right. Time to change something. We started off in 2003, the first soil test, 1.9% organic matter out here. That is just not good enough. In an organic system, you are not going to get much of anything out of that, typically. As of two years, uh, a year later, a little over a year later when I did the, it was uh, 2.5. So it was up significantly. And by the way, the university says that's completely impossible uh, in that time period. And it's not like I dumped a bunch of extra hay and materials on there, and I took a bunch of hay off in that time as well. Uh, the following year, we were up to 3.0 in this field. Now, if I'd really been on my game, I'd gotten my soil test in, and I'd really have uh, some plucking to do about now because I, I'm pretty well sure we're at three and a half and, and could be scaring the heck out of four. And this is going to be four the next time this gets turned up. And I will guarantee you the color of this is different than the last time anyone saw this. There's some really good things going on here. And like I said, put some seeds in the ground and get the heck out of the way. It's going to grow. And the problem becomes more getting the crops on here like corn and sorghum sedan grass that create the kind of volumes that I need to feed my animals rather than, uh, gee, I sure hope something grows. I sure hope it isn't nothing but weeds. That is when it's fun to farm. And the lack of the chemicals and the next thing is, is nutrient dense. The minerals here are so available in this soil. They're going up into that plant. The feed I'm feeding, uh, the quality of that is amazing. Uh, you think all corn is, is the same. Corn is corn is corn. Oh, very nice and heavy corn. The minerals in that corn are wonderful. They grow wonderful animals. That gives me something to talk to my customers about. It just isn't, well, this chicken is about the same as that chicken. <laughs> uh, but they look pretty content. That one there, especially. <laughs> We're experimenting with the pigs. We're learning with the pigs. And it's so much fun for us to be able to do. Uh, and uh, you're going to be able to get some ham up there. Uh, our first batch of five pigs, they're wonderful. Our, our uh, six-year-old son, he, uh, he's our primary product tester for pork products <laughs> and uh, we we got the the first pork home two days ago and, and that next morning we, we fried up the bacon and he says dad that's the best bacon I've ever had well I have I have gotten I have satisfied my my largest critic there I can I can feel pretty good about that oh what's it gonna be like when my kids want to come farm with me that's pretty cool not too many conventional farmers are fit thinking like that. My kids can do whatever they, 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 they want, but I tell you what, if I'm a happy farmer and I'm getting a fair deal uh, on what I'm doing and I'm having a good time, what do you think the probability my kids are going to want to farm with me? Pretty high. And that's, that's cool. That is really cool. My dad here, his dad 
dad basically told him to get the hell off the farm. Go do something else. I don't want that for my kids. I want that option available to them. It's up to me to create that option for them. And it's the investments I'm making today. So one of my, probably my biggest hero right now is a guy by the name of Bob Schmitnick. Uh, he is a Midwestern Bioway consultant uh, up by Arcadia. He himself has made 60 or small family dairy farmers or organic. That's 60 families that are happy organic dairymen. That's 60 families' lives that have been changed. In the same period of time he was doing that, probably well over half of those farms would be gone. That is changing the world. That is really, really cool. Um, we move the cattle off of where they've grazed the day before. Every single day, every 24 hours, we move them. As soon as we move them, the grass can start regrowing. If we leave them on a big area, the area where they left yesterday, you won't see that regrowth because they're out there nipping off those nice fresh little heads. I've set myself back a week and a half if I let them do that. So we keep them going. Now, get... look at these gals here. Oh, you are The more relaxed I am, the more relaxed they are. That's, that's a lesson too. Bread, more for an organic system and more for a pasturing system. We raised the big white lumps, the, the Cornish crosses, for a couple of years and we just were frustrated. And when the end of the day came, well, what'd you enjoy doing today? Well, we love moving the cattle and being around the cattle. They got great personalities, they're a lot of fun. Uh, we love the hens, they're kind of neat in their own ways. And, what, what do you think about the, these girls? Just a lot of work. And plus we weren't getting very much and we were competing with people that weren't feeding organic feed and I was unwilling to do that. I